In this video, I'll show you how to edit color infrared photos with On One Photo Raw 2020. On One Photo Raw is a photo organizer and non destructive raw editor with layers and effects. It's available for Mac and Windows and comes with a 30 day free trial. I've imported this image shot with a camera converted with a 590 nanometer infrared filter. What you'll want to do is start in the develop space, select tone and color. In order to get a quick tone uh, values, I'll select AI auto. So this will do a quick automatic adjustment of the levels. Next, you'll want to set the color balance down in this color area. There's a few options here. The Kelvin button allows the temperature slider to be adjusted from a Kelvin range, which runs from 2000 degrees Kelvin to 50,000 degrees Kelvin, or you can disable this option to see an arbitrary values from negative 400 to 400, which produces slightly different results. For the sake of this demonstration, ensure that the Kelvin button is on, then select the color picker and use something in the image that you want to set the white balance to. In this case, I'll set the white balance to the clouds and that'll give you a nice separation between uh, the sky and the foliage while keeping the clouds white. Okay, so we're all set in uh, the develop area. Now let's go into effects. So click the effects tab here and select add filter. And here we want to select channel mixer. Uh, so the channel mixer will allow us to swap the red and the blue channels. You'll notice the first option here is IR swap, which is a preset. You can see all of the presets that are available from this drop down uh, to look through a variety of them. But IR swap will very quickly swap the red and blue channel. So that's already built into um, on one photo raw. So that's very nice. Now that we've swapped colors, we can make some adjustments to the colors. Select add filter and click on color adjustment. This will allow you to change the, the reds and the blues in the image to suit to taste. So select the uh, red swatch here of the color swatches and drag the hue value uh, to, to taste to whatever color you would like if you'd like to change the color of your foliage from the default. Then you can select on the blue swatch to do the same for the sky. So select the hue slider. In this case, you can see that the, uh, the uh, sky is a little bit teal. So I'm going to drag the hue to the right to try to bring some of the blue color and I'll add a little bit of saturation as well. Now in this case, the, uh, I didn't quite get enough of a hue shift that I wanted here. So I can simply go to add filter and add a second color adjustment layer and then select the blue swatch. And now I can drag the hue over and now you can see that the sky is starting to get more of a, uh, a natural blue color that I'm looking for in this image. There's some other filters that can be uh, very nice for uh, improving the look of your infrared images. I'll select add filter and dynamic contrast. Uh, in this case, I'll start with the normal uh, preset and then start to adjust the dynamic contrast uh, at a small, medium, and large level. So we'll start with medium, and you can see it starts to add some punch around some of the edges. So I can tweak that a bit uh, to get to the level I want. And so uh, dynamic contrast is a great way to add a little bit of punch and, and edge apparent sharpness to your image. The other tool that's really nice for infrared is glow. So if I click add filter and select glow, this will give me the opportunity to add some, a bit of a soft glow like you'd see from an infrared film look. So you can select one of the presets to, to sample these looks, or you can start adjusting the amount as yourself to, to see the, the amount that you'd like. So you can add a little bit of a soft glow there. Once you have uh, completed your adjustments, if you look at the bottom of the screen and click on the, the little A icon that is compare mode, that will bring up a slider that allows you to compare the before and after. So here is the before image and there is the after image. All right, so that was a quick look at how to edit color infrared photos with On One Photo Raw. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.